Today we're going to replace a radiator on a 2008 Chevy Impala. These are mostly the things you may need. A ratchet, 15 millimeter, an extension, an adjustable wrench, a half, and some pliers. Those are the main things you're gonna need. And I would include a flathead too. So these are the tools you may need to take out the radiator for a 2008 Chevy Impala. First thing first, let's take out these brackets. These support brackets, it's called like motor mount support brackets. You take these out first. Like this, boom, push them out the way. Sorry about that. So when, it, when the radiator come out, it have enough room. Another thing too, take the cap off, take the cap off, and so you can swing these back. And therefore you don't need nobody to Next hurt. thing you do is take out these brackets that hold down the radiator. I don't know if you can see it. But, yeah, you can. Once you take this out, the radio can come right up. What you should be able to do is take out the hoses that's attached to the radiator. There's one on the front top and there's one on the bottom. Next thing. It detach all the wires, the fan wires that's plugged in to the radiator. The next thing you will need to do is detach the, the line, the cooling line for the transmission. There's two of them. There's one here and there's one on the bottom. It usually cools down the transmission. These are the cooling lines for the transmission. There's another one on the bottom. This is not a, the cooling line. This is like a AC bracket. So be careful when you're taking this one out. It uses a 10 millimeter. And there's another cooling line on the bottom right there underneath the hose. You obviously gotta take this hose out too. The one you see right there with a plier. 
for easier for the radio to come out easier take out the fan the two fans that's connected to the um the radiator take those out there's one here one here there's at least four screws all around it that's holding it together There is a uh, something holding up one of the wires on this side, so you have to take it out. Make sure you have these up. Another one right here. And also another one right here. So, so remember how you put it in so you could replace it the same way. Just do everything back in reverse. There you go. Okay, the next thing you would need to do here is take out um, this hole, the bottom holes. And after that, you would also take out this transmission line right here. So you take out this and this. Okay, to take out the, the radiator from the condenser, you have to put the condenser up and push the radiator down. It's a hook with the condenser. The easiest thing to the easiest how to the easiest way to take it out is by doing the side the left side first. The left side first. If you do the left side first, the right side is pretty easy. Once you do that. The radiator is good. So, before putting the new radiator on, you must compare it to see if it has all the same parts. If all the parts match, so you won't put struggle in to try to put the wrong radiator. So, since this radiator looks exactly the same, we're going to put this map. And another thing, too, what's missing from this radiator, you have to take it from this radiator. And from the old radiator, put in a new radiator. Like the rubber pieces that goes on the bottom. Just dirty. Okay, and another thing I wanted to mention is if you take one of these bars out. It does. I recommend the side that's really closer to the um the radiator. So it could be a lot easier putting in because you don't want to put the radiator and then mess the radiator up. So I would take one of these bars off. Another thing I want to recommend, when you're taking, when you're dealing with this, it's best to take the pin out of it. So you just put it in and you just put the pin on. That way it'll be a lot easier instead of unscrewing it. All the way beam. We already got a pin in it, so it's already done. Same with this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the pin out, and to take the pin out, I use something like this. 
this doesn't work anymore so this is what I use to take the pin out from the old one and then I just push it in so it'd be real easier for you yes I want to mention that it's best to put in the the, the top I mean the, the holes first before you put in this top one right here because you're gonna have a lot of, you're gonna have trouble trying to stick it in so before you put the top line it's best to put that hole first. in order okay. in reverse order plug up all the the, um, the plugs of course from the radiator to the fan screw all the screws tight but there you have it new radiator and fan i mean new radiator put back on that's how you put on a 2005 to 2009 chevy and paul if i'm not correct if i'm not mistaken radiator it's that easy uh, i ain't gonna say it's that easy the hardest part was of doing this was taking the the radiator from the condenser other than that everything else should be should be easy for you so that's how you take out a 2008 Chevy Impala radiator so hope you like this video like or subscribe thank you for watching